Hello and welcome to another episode of Brock's Garage. I'm your host Dan and today we're going to be installing part number DASH1005 and DASH1001 on this 2013 Club Car DS. Let's take a look at the parts and the tools we're going to need for this installation. So included in our kits are the dash itself, mounting hardware and the ignition spacer, the center console, the mounting hardware and the cup holders. Now, our dash has the part number DASH1000 installed in it. That's our universal dash pocket. Uh, that is installed in the location where you would place your radio if you were to install one. Now, let's take a look at the tools we're gonna need for this installation. So the tools we're gonna need for this installation are cordless drill, 5 64ths and a 9 64ths drill bit, number two Phillips head, an extended number two Phillips head, number two Phillips head screwdriver, number zero Phillips head screwdriver, quarter inch drive ratchet wrench, an eight millimeter and an 11 millimeter socket, half inch drive ratchet wrench with an extension, and a 15 16 and a one inch socket, a panel remover tool, a rubber mallet, a tape measure, work light, and some wire snips. Now we've taken a look at the tools, let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started, I wanna go over a few safety precautions. I wanna make sure that your cart is turned off, your parking brake is set, and your tow run switch is switched to tow if you've got one. Now we're gonna to move to the front of the cart and get started with our installation. Our first step in this installation process is to go ahead and remove the steering wheel. Now there's two eight millimeter bolts on the back that gotta come out and then the front panel comes off and we can remove the steering wheel assembly. Before you get started on that though, you wanna make sure that your wheels are straight so that when you put your steering wheel back on, everything stays aligned. If you're having issues removing your steering wheel, you can either use a rubber mallet or a hammer and a block of wood to go ahead and assist you in removing it. Now that we've removed our steering wheel, we're gonna go ahead and remove the center portion of the dash with the two Phillips head screws on either side. Now that our center dash is removed, we can go ahead and uninstall all the electronics from behind it. Since our cart came with cup holders, we're gonna go ahead and remove those at this time. So we're gonna relocate our reverse buzzer here behind the dash and we're gonna attach it to the frame back here. Now that our reverse horn is firmly secured behind the dash, we can go ahead and proceed with our installation. Before we go ahead and install the dash onto the car, we have to put the collar on the ignition key. Our next step now is to put the dash over the steering column. We're not gonna attach it just yet because we still gotta put the ignition key through it. Once your ignition switch is installed and your cover plate is put on, you can go ahead and dry fit the dash underneath of the aluminum trim ring. Once your dash is dry fit, you're gonna go ahead and pre-drill the five holes on the underside of the dash with a 5 64th drill bit. Once your holes are pre-drilled, you can go ahead and secure your dash with the provided hardware. Once you've installed your five screws on the underside of the dash, that completes the installation of part number DASH1005. Now, you'll notice that we didn't cut out our hole for the battery indicator because we decided to discard it, but if you wanted to do that, you can go ahead and trace out your hole and cut it carefully in the dash so that you can reinstall it. Now, we're gonna start the installation process for part number DASH1001. Before we get started with our installation, we wanna make sure that we re-engage our parking brake. Now that our parking brake's re-engaged, we're gonna go ahead and start the installation process for our center console. Center console is held in by four screws, two in the top and two in the bottom. So we're gonna place the console about an inch away from the gas pedal, and then we're gonna drill our holes and secure it with the provided hardware.
Once your console has been secured with the provided hardware, we're going to go ahead and place our cup holders in, and then after that, we'll reinstall the steering wheel with the factory hardware. Now that our cup holders and our steering wheel are reinstalled, that completes our installation of parts DASH-1001 and DASH-1005. Thanks for watching this episode of Rock's Garage, and I'll see you next time.